www.decibets.com Start off by telling us a little bit about your background, uh, your birthplace, and uh, how you first started cooking, and what got you into that. I was uh, born and uh, bred in Birmingham. Uh, Birmingham is home. I've lived in various other parts of the country, but I've always found my way back here, and I've been back here for the last 14 years or so now. Um, I mean, started cooking naturally, as with everyone else. Start at home if your mother's a good cook. Uh, most lads will confess, well, they'll always fight the fact that their mother is the best cook. I'll argue with a few, but. Um, you know, it starts off at home, you know, the influence starts there and then, you know, it becomes a passion of yours. I've never really been into sports or anything like that. Food has always been my thing and um, having restaurants in the family prior to the San did really help. Obviously, uh, gets gets you training at a very early age. Who actually influences you when you are cooking? The influences for the food at the San, it's, it's a team effort. We all work together. I've got guys um, who who are from various regions across the Indian subcontinent. We all sit together, we pool our knowledge together. I guess my ability is the fact that because I'm not from a particular region in India, I'm not biased or I'm not clouded by the restrictions of their style of cooking. I'm able to look at food or Indian subcontinent as you know the whole spectrum and pick and choose what I want and find ways to combine it together to create the sort of dishes that we had at um, the, the, the F word that people saw us cooking. Jabbar, can you just start off by telling me how you actually felt when you guys actually won the, the event and, and won the full competition? Oh, it's, it's just one of the greatest feeling. I mean, we've entered many awards over the years and nothing was as challenging as this and, and having been told we've won is nothing as compared to in terms of how rewarding this was. No, it's just been phenomenal. I mean, as the competition was progressing, of course, our confidence were growing that we will win, we will win, and we had to make sure our, our um, performance was accordingly. But to be finally confirmed that we've won is just unbelievable. Yeah, it's just been fantastic. Would you say there's any particular chefs that influence you or, or any, any names that you that have influenced you throughout the years? Yeah, I mean, uh, chefs-wise, I've got Marco Piet. Pierre White's book out downstairs, you know, um, White is one of its, uh, one, you know, it's one of the most famous cookery books across biographies of a chef. But, you know, Chef Ramsay, for the last 10, 12 years, I've been following him very much so. And it was just fantastic to obviously uh, be able to work with them. Were you the only, like, uh, sibling in the family that started cooking, or, or was it your brothers and sisters? Did they, did they also cook? No, out of my uh, generation, I'm the only one um, who's actually taken. Uh, cooking on as a profession. Everyone else has got their so-called white-collar jobs working in, uh, you know, uh, stocks, stocks and shares, um, local councils, so on and so forth. So everyone else has got themselves a nice, comfortable desk job. And here I am. Gordon Ramsay uh, picked up on teamwork as being something that was not, you know, one of the best the best attributes here. You mentioned that the language, bar the language barrier was a, a slight problem. Being an Asian and uh, obviously having people coming from India, Pakistan, different places throughout the world coming here to cook. Do you not think that the language barrier is, is something that you know, needs to be kind of highlighted or is it something that needs to be worked on? What would you, what's your feeling on that? I think it's easier said than done. We've got, what, five five different languages spoken in our kitchen. Obviously you've got English, you've got Punjabi, you've got guys from you know, Telugu, so on and so forth. Various parts of India and naturally you'll know they speak very, I mean, apart from Hindi and Punjabi, which you can sort of if you understand one you can understand the other try and understand Tamil it doesn't work you know so obviously we try and we communicate through English and it works very well when we're in the kitchen but when we're in a different environment where the instructions change then it can lead to a bit of confusion but ultimately you've just got to pull together and do what you can and do your best really when the 30 diners came here for instance and, 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 and ate at, at this restaurant was there any points at which you thought oh damn I wish I had changed this or I wish I had done that or you know any pre, pre preparation that could have been done before um, there's always from perfectionist point of view you would say I would have done this I would have done that nothing there that went differently that we felt could cost the result however we anticipated for example uh, being a television show that Gordon would 
put everyone under as much challenge as possible to, to, to check their ability and which is a good thing because if he was to award someone for being the best he needs to be thorough about it and we anticipate that of course anticipating is one thing and going through it is another thing and of course that meant uh, most of us were nervous all the way through I mean one of the greatest chefs in the uh, world and putting in you know, it's, it's a test that is uh, uh, putting you through uh, of course the nervousness meant some of us were not to our highest uh, or normal performance but nonetheless overall we knew we've delivered it was two hours that was allocated to us we finished the overall service 40 minutes I think before the two hours was over but of course for television show he, he sort of uh, put some of us under pressure what would you say is your favorite dish to cook uh, and also to eat I don't really have a favorite dish to cook and a favorite dish to eat. It, 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 whatever I'm cooking, I'm enjoying. And you know, if 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 we're cooking it and putting everything into it, no doubt you will enjoy eating it. But for for me, it's more not for me. It's more a case of what other people get from it. Because you know, a lot of people or chefs will tell you they don't really like eating because you're always around food, and at times it can get like that. So you know, we'll graze here and there, but we not won't really have good hearty meals. Uh, but it's the enjoyment that you get from whether it be your other team members or or watching your customers enjoy your food. That really you can't top it and there's nothing you know nothing you can feel personally for yourself that will top the feeling that you get from other people enjoying what you do what do you gain back if a customer you know obviously eats your food and says right it didn't taste as good as it could have done or I mean would you do you take that as positive or is there any negatives in that well you know I think the criticism to a certain extent um, is always positive because you learn something from it at times you have to uh, take into consideration whether the criticism is valid because ultimately a lot of it is down to miseducation or lack of education about the cuisine. Um, it, it's a shame really but people don't know, know or understand Indian food um, for what it really is. They, What they regard as Indian food is what we, what the mainstream curry or British curry and it's a shame really we're seeing a lot of Asian people starting to believe that's Indian food because obviously cooking at home is becoming less and less and, and you know it, it, it does upset me um, at times when you when you see compli- um, sorry, complaints based on uh, lack of understanding or lack of knowledge or just pure ignorance. But if there is a valid complaint, naturally, we're a business, we need to know what our customers say, we need to understand where we're going wrong. We can't get it right all the time, even though we do most of the time. But, you, you know, naturally, there will be a time where you know, things don't go perfectly and it's good to know. What would you say would be your top three ingredients to use, Akhtar? Something we use a lot at the restaurant is um, citrus fruit, so lemon, lime, um, purely because it helps balance the uh, the flavours out. So you don't necessarily only use it for something that you want to have a citrusy flavour to. Just in very minute amounts, it helps balance. So it's, you don't have to use so much salt, which is a good thing for everyone who's, uh, who's eating the food because we all know we need to reduce our sodium levels. Um, love coriander, um, I absolutely love the flavour, I love the seeds, I love the stalk, I love the leaves and I use them in various ways so I really couldn't do without those and uh, favourite things, I mean it, it's the whole, it's, I guess spices as a whole but I like them in their whole form and the ability to toast them, roast them and grind them to our own uh, powders that we use and own paste, I mean that's, that's those three key elements I guess are the, are the most important parts to me. Are you single? And if you are, what is your ideal woman like? Would she be able to, uh, would you say she'd need to be a cook also? Or would you do the cooking in the relationship? I am single. Um, for me, uh, ideal woman, no, she doesn't really have to cook. I mean, ultimately, something that I enjoy doing. But it, it is nice, I guess, when uh, someone makes that effort. But a lot of people, they're quite wary about cooking for me. I don't know why, because I will eat absolutely everything to a certain extent. But um, no, no, I think, you know, just want someone I would like someone should I say who who pays attention to what I eat because ultimately it shows they care what's your top tip on good tasting desi chicken good tasting desi chicken it's, it's, it's something that we do uh, uh, a lot um, uh, desi style curry is um, quite some we use the chicken thigh on the bone just the uh, midsection and that quite simply we mix it with um, some mustard oil onions, whole Kashmiri chili, a bit of cumin, turmeric, um, ground coriander and some ground Kashmiri chili. Mix it all together and just put it into a sealed pot and let that bubble away slowly for about an hour or so and that gives you a fantastic curry. It's great. Gordon Ramsay also picked up on um, 
certain certain different issues. You, you said that arrogance was a bit of a problem. Do you feel that you've changed anything going forward here? I mean, or would you say that wasn't a problem and that was something that was was that was picked on? Um, I think you know what Chef was trying to do is is, is trying to. I guess round off my character slightly you know yes at times we can be quite arrogant and and very sure of ourselves and I think what he's trying to uh, get me to understand was the fact that well you know at times you have to sit back and reflect and self reflection is a fantastic thing and you know, at times you can forget to do that and I think it's a very endearing um, uh, quality in a person someone who's able to sit there and reflect on what they've done so you know yes he has he's, he's reminded me of uh, certain characteristics that over the years I guess I may have uh, subdued but it, it's, you know ultimately the whole experience has made me a better person. What are your goals going forward now that you've uh, have actually got this win under your belt? The goal is obviously firstly to sustain the standard that has got us this recognition. Sustain it, improve in the areas that could be improved to further enhance the experience and, and overall I mean uh, just uh, allow our uh, brand to be known nationwide where previously it wasn't feasible simply because to, to get this level of exposure you're talking a huge level of investment which an independent business is often can't afford. What would you say for yourself Akhtar? Winning the F word here obviously it's a, it's a huge huge success for you for yourselves here and now with the with the win underneath your belts what does that actually personally mean to yourself and the business itself? It's always nice to have you know people say you guys are doing a good job you know fantastic job we've got various awards but to get Chef Ramsey I mean when it comes to uh, the, the our industry no one can really top him and you know for him to turn around and say and put us through what you put us through and then come to the decision that you are the best the fact that we're able to satisfy he's very demanding he's a very demanding chap and you know he's a perfectionist and we're able to satisfy him and for him to turn around and say you are Britain's best what can top that at the moment nothing can top it